So let's go ahead and actually implement out this map. One of the reasons why we called it a map here is because if we're looking in Java's world, it refers to a dictionary as a map. Now one of the things I said in the last video is this idea that map, the, the, the class of map in Java, is an abstract class. There's actually a lot of different variations to it in how it uh, sort of handles certain operations like lookups or storage. And so we don't just magically get to you know just use a map, but we do get the ability to come in and say something like hash map. Now that hash map is just going to be one of the variations uh, inside of all the difference. We actually also have something called a tree map, and we also have something called a linked hash map. Just different variations. Again, we'll take a look at them in a second. So let's say I came in, and I'm just going to uh, throw together really quickly uh, my my implementation of my my maps. So I come in public static void main string args and aha I finally I'm gonna make my map now we remember in polymorphism I could call this a hash map or a map I can call it anything inside of its uh, uh, implementation hierarchy I wanna use map in this sense just because uh, it's a it's one step above I can still kind of work off of this especially when we start changing uh, hash map to tree map and linked mash map I don't uh, linked hash map I don't have to uh, really do much difference the problem is we're starting to get into a quick introduction to the difference between an array and sort of uh, a, a dictionary if we will so you notice we got rid of the idea of an index when we started talking about maps dictionaries. One of the things that we have to deal with now is what element, what is this? It's a character we know, but it could be anything. I could, just like I was saying uh, before, I could turn this into, uh, you know, another, I could turn it into a, that. That's a terrible version since cat's there, but it could be any object. Let's just kind of use an O for that. Uh, o, object. It could be any data type that I want it to be. And so as a result, one of the things we have to sort of implement is generics. So what's a generic? You may see this sometimes in you know different uh, implementations out there on the internet and whatnot, but there's some class that someone built, and right beside it you see sort of this kind of uh, caret sign and then maybe an E. All that's telling us is that uh, this can be any uh, data type that we're dealing with. If I want multiple uh, that I'm going to be dealing with uh, a lot of them, guess what? I just throw a comma in there and I have some other E. I wouldn't call it E because that's the same data type uh, but you get sort of the gist of what's going on there. It can be anything I want it to be. We just use E uh, for simplicity's sake. We're actually going to do that exact same thing here inside of map. Now, map's already been implemented, so we don't really have any problems kind of going in. I still use that. Now, if we kind of look, I'm using D, C, and M for my keys over here. So, for our sake, I'm going to say that the key uh, in my map is a character data type. I could use char, but I'm just kind of being fancy with the, the capital character class. Then I would separate by a comma, because now I have to look at what my element is. Just like when we were dealing with an array, a traditional array, I would put whatever data type and then square brackets. Same kind of concept. A well, dog uh, could be anything I make it, and for our sake, we'll just say it's a string. I'm going to call this M, just to kind of model myself over here. However, this is where things are different. If I just came in and did that, let's implement that, and let's see what happens if I compile and run that. Let me shrink this, move it into a reasonable view. Java C test map dot Java. I get an error. Ah, look at that. Map is abstract, cannot be instantiated. Well, this is why we implemented that. We imported a uh, hash map as well. The idea is I can come in and say hash map. Now if I compile this, Oh, well, it's complaining about this unsafeness. And that's actually because I didn't include the good old uh, sort of, this was a generic class. As you can see, simply resolving that takes care of that. Now, 
inside of my previous implementation, you see I did m.insert. Java, being Java, does not use the idea of uh, an insert, however, it uses, in our case, put. No difference, but the kind of implementation is now instead I'd come in and I'd say in my sake my character data type and then my string el element and as we can kind of see for cat and monkey I can do the exact same thing C for cat and M for monkey alright everything seems honky dory so far that's perfectly fine one of the things we can do with this is we can do simple things. First, we'll do a, a traditional system.out.println uh, on dial m for anyone who gets that reference, bonus points, m.lookup. All right, I think it's get. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. Get. We come in, we compile. Ah, it was get. Ah ha ha ha. And then I run this. Java test map. Dial M for monkey. You notice all I had to do here is instead of looking up uh, monkey, uh, I could actually just tell it my key. So if I came in and said uh, get M, dial M for dog doesn't really work uh, because you know stuff but if I wanted to see every element that's actually kind of a, a really nice implementation and this is where we're gonna see the difference between a hashed t uh, tree and linked hash map so in our sake I'm gonna use the for each version of a for loop the idea here is that I now I'm working off of a colon and I don't have some index. I don't have the luxury of that one and two, so I can't just do a four i int i uh, zero to size because I don't I can't I don't have uh, indices. Instead, I'd come in and I'd implement something over on that side as m dot entry set. That's my I don't want to say array, but that's my collection now. And what that's going to give me is not just dog, cat, monkey, or uh, D, C, M. That's going to give me that collection, that entry, if we will. Uh, in fact, I'll call it a map.entry. Ah, ha, ha, just to kind of give you a hint. I'm going to, I want to get the entry of those, that key and that element. And that's actually what I would put over here. I would say map.entry entry and just like I did up here where I said I had a generic of a key of a character and a, an element of a string I do the exact same thing here there was a character key and there was a string element and I'll just call it entry uh, for the sake of simplicity sake so now that I've got these I'm not, you know gonna jump too quickly yet but I can come in and I can say uh, character key equals uh, entry dot get key seems pretty straightforward what that'll do that'll grab the the D the C the M string element entry dot get what do you think it is it is not element it is value oh that's not terrible you know, we value is a little bit more of a generic term than element and you find a lot of times that L, uh, get value is what people implement but the interesting thing is when we come in system.out.println, uh, key will be my key, slash t, element will be my element. And if I came up here, compiled this, and ran it, huh, notice that part right there. C, that's not my first entry. Why is it? appearing first. Well, that's actually what I was talking about at the very beginning. Some uh, hash map, uh, for example, doesn't actually store them in any particular order. It's just kind of whatever, wherever it's available uh, in itself. Tree maps, very similar. We're going to get the same implementation. We're going to get the same look and feel inside of a tree map. And the only difference here is in this implementation, this is in alphabetical order. 
let me add a few elements in uh, just real quick to and three. We'll, we'll say so we have an A for alligator. We have an E for elephant. And we have a R and R for rat. So we're talking about this being a tree map right now. The tree map is going to put them in alphabetical order of their keys. So as we can sort of see, A, C, D, E, M, R. Everything's in alphabetical order. If, however, I did it with a hash map, right, a hash map, there is no particular order. Oh, look at alligator, and then we got rats, and then C, D, E, M. There's not a, a given order to it. It's just kind of however they get stored. That's fine sometimes. But what about that linked hash map? Since that's sort of the last one that we haven't touched on yet, linked hash map linked hash map. This is going to allow it to kind of be stored in the order it was put in. So it should say D C A E R M. D C A E R M. Which one is better? Well, they're all pretty much the same. It's rather more what you want to do with them. If I need them to be in alphabetical order for my lookups, tree map. If I do need them to be in the order that I inserted them, linked hash map. If I just need them to be stored in some uh, haphazard way that doesn't really uh, care about order, hash map.